Over the last two years, IMPD has cleared about half of the city's homicides, including 49% this year and 54% last year. But that leaves nearly half the cases unsolved, including a double homicide here at the home behind me. And those families say they are tired of waiting for justice. We need justice! We need peace! Chanting and holding signs. We need justice! We need peace! Around two dozen people we demanded justice peace. for a trio of unsolved debt. It's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare just, um, you know, waking up every day and just hoping for answers. Last year, inside a home on Waldemere Avenue, Josmira's sister and her sister's fiance were shot to death inside a home they shared. All we know is um, somebody went in there and killed both of them and her dog. Unfortunately, 10 months later, the murders of 19-year-old Rosie Medina and 21-year-old German Arantes have never been solved. We need something to be done about this. I don't want this to become a cold case. Nearly four years ago, a 16-year-old was gunned down at an apartment complex on Indy's west side. The teen had been playing soccer with friends and family when he was killed by a pair of armed robbers who wanted his shoes. All we know is he was playing soccer and he got shot multiple times. Maria's brother, Juan Romero Sanchez, would have turned 20 next week but no one has ever been held accountable for his death. We need justice! We need peace! Marching around the state house, those three families hope someone listens to their cries for help and brings the killers to justice. We know we can't get them back. We can't get Rosie and German back. They can't get Juan, but we at least need that peace. The families of the double homicide victims in this home have raised a $15,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. Anyone with information on any unsolved homicide is always asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.